Hey guys, I am doing a very simple soap once a year. Um, every time I do uh, the local Apple Festival that I have, I have a gentleman that comes to my booth and buys a whole loaf of just what he calls old fashioned lard soap. And that's exactly what it is. It's only soap that has lard as the ingredient. He buys the whole batch every year. So I messaged him the other day and I was like, hey, are you needing your soap for this year? And he was like, yep. And I said, okay. I said, I'll have it ready for the Apple Festival. And he said, I will see you there. So he buys the whole 13 bars nothing fancy no colors no fragrance no nothing he swears by this soap i had never made it before i met him um which was about five years ago and i met him when i was doing a farmer's market and he was like do you have just plain soap and i was like he was like lye soap is what he asked for and I was like, well, all of my soaps are made with lye. You know, I kind of explained that. And he was like, yeah, he was like, but just lard. And I was like, oh, I don't. I was like, but I'll be happy to make some for you. So since that time, five years ago, he buys a whole batch of soap every year. And the five pounds of soap last him about a year. Um, so yeah, it's time for me to make that soap for him again. And... So I thought I'd bring you guys along. It's very simple soap, only one oil. Um, I don't do anything fancy. I bring it to Trace and that's it. So I'm using my hot lye water to melt the oils here. And what I'm going to do is pause you guys and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, so I'm being a little impatient and I'm going to use my stick blender to uh, get this all emulsified. Now, I did break my stick blender. I broke off the little thing that hooks it on. So I just have to use my hand to push it down in there to lock it, or um, to unlock it. It stays, like I can't get it off. So, not a big deal. It still works. Uh, and I love this stick blender and I almost cried when I broke it until I realized I didn't really break it. <laughs> to where I couldn't use it. Now I'm not worried with getting to a thick tray. I did a very steep water discount. This has, uh, the recipe calls for for equal or for two, 33% uh, water, it calls for 14.6 ounces of water, and I only use 12 ounces of water. Because, like I said, I'm okay with a thick trace. This soap takes a while to come to trace by itself if you use a lot of water. So I wanted to speed the process up. And the less amount of water you use, the faster it will come to trace. It makes a beautiful, beautiful white, white bar of soap. The only thing with this is that it's a little hard to get the head of my stick blender off. So like the last six or ten, I can't remember how many soaps I made. I did not record those. I apologize. I was in a rush. I had a wholesale order. Um, so I didn't record the last 10, 15 batches. Um, but yeah, I just, I just kept my stick blender hooked up the whole time. So I've got some of my wood molds here all ready for me. 
we're gonna pour this in and call it a day on this soap. Like I said, super easy. I'll tap it down, smooth top. Just like that, nothing really to it. I'll bring you back when we cut it. Hey guys, I thought I would go ahead and bring you and cut a few of these bars on this soap so you can see it. It's a super hard soap. It's just over 24 hours. And as you can see, it's super hard. But as it's just a plain Jane soap. But if you guys make this soap, make sure you definitely cut it at the 24 hour mark. Don't wait, <laughs> cause it's super hard. Um, but it makes for fabulous soap. I'm not gonna show you all of them, they're all the same. So that's it on this soap. We'll set it up to cure and send it off to our customer. Thank you all for watching.